In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, Father. My brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for His full of gentleness and compassion. We now pray together, I confess to Almighty God and to, you, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord our God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfading health of mind and body. And through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above, each of them had six wings. With two they veiled their faces, with two they veiled their feet, with two they hovered aloft. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with the smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an amber that he had taken with tongues from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, 
for length of days. The Lord is King, His room in majesty. Please stand. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. with your spirit. Glory to you, O Lord. his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house Belzebul, how much more those of his household? Therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear, whisper, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Jehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters in Christ, a pleasant morning once again. There is a wonderful story of Andres Narvasa, who was sitting in one of the benches across the football ground, across of the UST Santissimo Rosario Paris. And there was a little girl there too, and they were talking to each other. And finally, this little girl asked, asked him, Sir, what is your name? And the man answered her, I am Andres Nervasa, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Philippines. And I was the former dean of the Faculty of Civil Law here in your USD on this university. And Justice Narvasa asked her too, about you, what is your name? 
And the little girl answered him, I am Gladys. Gladys Javier. And I'm a present elementary student here in UST, just across the UST hospital. It would seem that this young lady is not going to have any identity problem, nor was she intimidated by others, even though she that somebody is a great figure of our society. And Jesus counsels us today in today's gospel. And she said, no one will intimidate you and do not be afraid. What a great words of our Lord to us. And that words also was adopted and repeated by John Paul II when he was elected as Pope, when he addressed the people in his window. And he said, do not be afraid to open wide your heart and welcome Christ. Do not be afraid to welcome Jesus into your home. It became his slogan as a Pope. So today, my dear friends, we are also celebrating the memorial of St. John of Cologne, a Dominican priest from Germany. And he was not afraid. Even they threatened him. He was not being intimidated because of his faith. He has a strong faith in God. And as he followed the advice of St. Paul, welcome or unwelcome, preach the word of God. And that's what St. John of Cologne did. And his prize was his martyrdom and is now a, a present citizen of heaven. One of the saints of the Dominican, Saint John of Cologne, a martyr. So my dear friends, a man who has no faith, God has no meaning, nor value in him. Because faith is one of the foundations of all our relationship with our Lord. Remember, faith is a gift of God to us. Faith is our relationship. Faith is our salvation. So we must maintain this strong relationship with our Lord. We must have a strong faith to face anything on our journey towards Him. And we must remember that our Blessed Mother she is always beside us to intercede for us. To answer whatever prayer that we will ask from her. She is always there to intercede for us. But when you pray, my dear friends, you must mean it what you say to him. It must come from your heart. You must mean it that when you say, Lord, I love you, it must come from your heart that you love him with your whole heart, mind, and strength. But my dear friends, it's so sad to think that the words brings out the best in us. And sadder still that only tight situations make us turn to God in prayer. Why should we? When we are in the midst of prosperity, we tend to forget Him. We tend to forget our Lord from whom we have received everything and to whom we must restore everything. 
This is not to berate prayers in the midst of disasters, in the midst of pandemic, in the midst of calamities. Prayers, my dear friends, is one of the many means that God uses to test our faith in Him. So having this in mind, we must be convinced that we must pray and pray as we never did before. Prayer is not only coming to the church and kneel down and ask God. We can pray anywhere, even you're riding on a tricycle, riding on a jeepney, or you're busy in the market, or busy in the house or in the office. Just think of God as a prayer, because prayer is not is uplifting of our hearts and minds to God. It's the best communication that we do have with our Lord. But we do we have to wait for any kind of pandemic or calamities that hit us first before we turn to God in prayer. Why should we, my dear friends? Prayers at this moment, there are only prayers of petitions. We tend to forget that there are not kind of prayers. It is not only to ask favor from God, but to thank Him for the many graces that God continued to shower on us. Never stop praying to God. Never stop praying to God. And always continue asking the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Uray nuntoy ti papanan nyo kagabsat. Anyo tayo kumalipatin. Tag kararag. Kena apu baket. Te iso na timangkid ti amin nga kapya. Ken kaimbagan iti tatao. She is always there, listening to our prayer. Uray kuman nuto'y ti papanan tayo, lagapin tayo unay ni Apo Baket. Anyo kuman lipatan ti kaano kadungo na amin kada tayo amin. How she love us. So my blessed mother, Together with her son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, keep you and your families always at the palms of their hands. God bless you all. Please all rise now. With firm faith in the divine providence of God, we now turn to him with our petitions, our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let the Holy Father, the bishops, and all who have been called to guide God's people may direct humankind to a knowledge of and belief in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be given the grace to face difficult situations with courage, knowing that the Lord is always at our side to give us strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people contemplating the call to be priests or religious may overcome their doubts, fears, and uncertainties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the disabled may experience the healing and comfort that only Christ can bring. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may reap the reward of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in silence, we now pray for our personal petitions. God, our loving Father, you know the many different needs your people have in this life. Hear us and answer the prayers of all who believe in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and word of human hands, it will become our spiritual tree. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with us. Humble and contrite heart. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her cheerful hymns of praise. For truly even to the earth's needs you have great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look in the loneliness of your handmaid you gave us through the author of your salvation your son jesus christ our lord through him the host of light angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. And now we pray together what Jesus had taught us. Our Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the beautiful sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body, the body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O oh Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption we ask this through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you all the father the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended we go in peace and continue to love and serve the lord Thanks be to God. We will now pray for all the sick here present and in their house, in their home. God, our Almighty Father, 
By your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We also bless the rosaries, novenas, and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of Blessed Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.